Welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I'm Stevie B. Let's get started with some big sips for this one today, guys. I am so excited to finally be back with you guys and be able to get a video uploaded to the channel. I know it's been almost a month and a half, if not a little bit longer, since I've been able to get some content uploaded for you guys. So what in the world is going on with me? What's going on with Entropia? And what are we looking at for 2024? So let's dive right in. In early December 2023, we had Merry Mayhem 2023. And as you guys know, I pushed it really, really hard to get that final stretch done to claim the BP-70 perfected out of the vendor. And I pushed myself way too hard. It took a huge toll on me physically, and it took a pretty good toll on me mentally as well. Luckily, I had a little bit of time off work about that time, which never happens. And I was able to use some of that time off to try and rest and recuperate. Unfortunately, right after Christmas, I had an issue where I had zero coverage at work. There has been nobody to cover my shift or my duties, which meant that I was all there was. And go not going to work or calling in sick or taking vacation really just was not optional. It is February 3rd. 2024 and this is the first night I have had off work since Christmas. I have worked every single day since Christmas. No breaks, no relief, no nothing. And that takes a tremendous toll on you physically as well as mentally. Now to make this even worse, we had a situation with the weather where the weather was pretty nice and then literally overnight, it went to sub-zero temperatures. The temperature would be 5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And by the time you added in the wind chill, you were like negative 10, negative 15 degrees. There was a lot of ice on the ground. It was really brutal weather for about a week and a half. And when that happened, the same exact time that the weather changed, I got very, very sick. I was already rained down physically. My sinuses started acting up, and it tried to turn into a bronchial infection and I was afraid it was going to end up turning into pneumonia. I have been fighting that practically ever since. Today's the first day I really have anything resembling a voice. I have been sucking on cough drops and blow pops like they're going out of style for weeks now. Just trying to keep my throat to the point where I can actually have a conversation with people at work and communicate. Because it's just like my vocal cords have been gone. And I've had the most ridiculous cough you could possibly imagine. Luckily, I kept most of the stuff from getting down into my chest, so it didn't turn into a full-blown bronchial infection, and because of that, it didn't end up turning into pneumonia, but it got pretty close to going pretty bad. It was already bad, but it could have been a lot worse. So I've been just fighting that and trying to recover from that, which has not been helped by the fact that I haven't had any time to rest. I've had literally zero rest. Even when I get sleep, I don't necessarily get rest, and I don't get much sleep either. In fact, to make matters worse, I got a call yesterday that I wasn't even going to get tonight off. And I was like, no, this, this is insane. It's been over six weeks. I have to have rest. I am sick. I am dying. You guys have to do something. So luckily, they did. They managed to work it out. So I do have tonight and tomorrow night off to at least try and get some rest in, which is why I want to make this video for you guys and let you guys know what's going on. It has just taken such a toll on me, I have zero energy. Now, on top of that, I've had some other stuff in real life that I've been having to deal with, stuff that's very annoying, just the typical adulting stuff that you have to take care of that just pops its head up every now and then, and what little energy I did have went to that. Now, that being said, I've got probably 20 to 30 videos already uploaded to YouTube for the Siren series. All I need is to go in and make the thumbnails, make the titles, make the descriptions and publish them, but I literally have not even had the energy to do that. So I apologize. I know there's been a big lapse in the content. I know it's been close to 45 days since I've been able to publish videos and the Siren series kind of just came to a screeching halt as a result. I'm really sorry because there's a lot of great content I've already made. And there's a lot more content I plan to make, not just on Siren. I've got a brand new video series for brand new players. I've got a series on Arcadia, Taloon, Monria, DSEC9. You name it, I've got a video series on it that I think you guys are going to be absolutely gaga about. It has just come down to not having the time and energy 
because of what's been going on with work in real life. Now, that being said, I'm hoping that moving forward, I won't be this strapped for time. I'm hoping to have more time off work, more time to rest. I don't know exactly how that's going to work out yet. I only know how this weekend is going to work, but that is my hope. So my goal is moving forward to do this. I've got a lot of videos made on the Siren series. I want to get those published for you guys. I want to make more videos on the Siren series because a lot of the stuff going on on Siren that I'm making videos about is stuff I'm actively working on. Big missions, epic missions, valuable opportunities that I'm currently trying to take advantage of. So I'm also recording while I'm doing them myself. I also want to get a lot more content made for you guys about that other stuff I mentioned, the New Player series, the Arcadia series, the Taloon series, uh, the Monterey d 9 series, and I want to get that stuff out there for you guys. It's just going to take me time to do it. Now, in addition to that, there is one thing that I'm going to be doing different. Uh, I will be sticking to the format of the video series like I have done with Cyrene, and every now and then I'll be making update videos about like something like this or whenever we have news in the game or, or something new pops up I'll still make these videos too but one thing I will not be doing or I should say I will be doing very selectively is when I talk about opportunities in game or things that you can do in game profitably I will be much 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 more selective about what I talk about and here's why most people know that I've always been a huge advocate of new players going to North Swamp Camp very quickly to farm blazer fragments from Exosaurs. I think this is one of the smartest things Mindark ever did because it lets new players very quickly get acclimated to realizing that when I cycle ped, Mindark's going to take part of my money. They have to in order to pay the electric bill, to pay the employees, and to keep the servers up. And it very quickly allows new players to get their head around having to take their loot that has high demand, high markup, and use that in order to get back to break even or potentially into the profit zone. I think this is one of the best things for new players that we have had. However, we have a problem. Blazer fragments no longer drop from Exosaur Young. So whenever I very first started advocating this, Mindark went in fairly quickly after that and they nerfed the drop rate to where it was still a decent drop rate. You could still make money with it but it wasn't nearly as lucrative as it had been before. And then they eventually, uh, a couple months back, I don't know when exactly, but it's been several months now, they ended up just removing blazer fragments from the loot pool for Exosaur altogether. So if you're going to North Swamp Camp looking to get blazer fragments from Exosaur, it's no longer a thing. That doesn't work anymore. And because of that, I can talk about some opportunities in game, I can talk about some things with the economy and high markup, high demand items, but I have to be much more selective about how I do it and which opportunities I talk about. So that is something that I'm going to have to incorporate into the videos in a little bit different manner. Something else I've been thinking about is how I want to do things with the videos moving forward. What I mean by that is there's not a lot of money in making videos for a community that is so small, such a niche community, such, such a niche game. So the money that's made from YouTube and stuff like that, it really doesn't cover the time and cost of production and stuff like that. And there's a lot of stuff in game, a lot of opportunities, a lot of mechanics, a lot of team play stuff that we could talk about, but it's not stuff that you just want to put out there for the masses, for everybody. I've considered doing a Patreon, I've considered doing a paywall, I've considered doing all kinds of different things, and I'll just be really honest, as of right now, I still don't know which way I would want to go with it, and I don't want to proceed down a path until I'm sure that's the path I want to proceed down. So as of right now, I have not made any decisions along those lines. I haven't made any decision if there will be special videos for like Patreon members, or if I'll have a paywall with special videos behind it. I have no idea how I'm going to do any of that. And because of everything else I've had going on, I really haven't even had time to think about it, much less mess with it. But I've got a lot of stuff like that that I'll be incorporating into the videos, which hopefully will lead to better content for you guys, better opportunities for you guys, and hopefully it will lead to both a more profitable and a more enjoyable gameplay experience. And that's really important because I think 2024 is going to be the single best year for playing Entropia Universe we've ever had. 
even if you are just now getting started. So let me tell you why. In 2023, we had the 20th anniversary event where the twin tokens were created and we had the twin item vendor. Now, let's look at my 2023 track record. When these tokens very first came out, they were trading at about two and a half to three pet apiece. And I told you guys, I said, as the good stuff gets taken out of the vendor, the price of these tokens will only go down. It will only drop. And I predicted when the tokens very first came out, go back and check the video, check the publication date. I said, by the end of Merry Mayhem 2023, which ends in early January 2024, the price of these tokens will probably be about 10 peck a piece. So how close was that prediction to being accurate? Well, the very last day of Merry Mayhem 2023, which was in early January 2024, I checked the price of twin tokens, and there were multiple orders on auction on Cali for twin tokens for 11 peck each. Now remember, I predicted a price of 10 peck per twin token by the end of Mayhem. And the last day of Mayhem, the orders were 11 peck per token. So I was pretty freakishly accurate. Now, that has done a lot to the economy, not because of the price of the tokens, but because of the event. Because of all of the new weapons that were pulled out of the vendor, because of all the new weapons that were pulled out of the Mayhem vendor, because of the lot of changes that Mindark has made to the game, the, those changes and those new items have affected the economy, and that has created more demand and more markup in large portions of the economy. And that is a good thing. Now, this is a thing I can talk about because it's pretty generalized. Last year, we wanted to go after tier components because those tier components that we get in our hunting loot, they're high demand, high markup, right? Well, guess what? In 2024, it's going to be even better because all those weapons, all those new items that were created from the twin event and from those mayhem pools, those items now need to be tiered. My new BP-70 needs to be tiered. And guess what? That means now those tier components that had demand and markup before, they've got even more demand and even more markup now. They're even easier to sell at even higher prices. So if you were already profiting from going after those tiering components last year, you're going to be profiting even more this year. And I think that sets up 2024 to potentially be one of the best years, if not the best year the game has ever had. I thought 2023 was a record-setting year. 2024 is going to be even better. Now, let's talk about a couple of pieces of news that we've gotten recently. First of all, let's talk about Triton Industry Shares. As you guys know, from the moment this was announced, I was not a fan of these shares. I thought this was a horrible move, and I immediately made a video about all the reasons why I thought it was a horrible move. Now, here's the part that I've kind of got to laugh at a little bit. Before I published the video, I'd already recorded the video, but I had not yet published it. And in that gap, in that time frame, I went on PCF on the forum, and there were people talking about the Triton Industry shares that were about to drop, and they were saying all the same things I was. This is a horrible idea. We can't believe you're doing it. Why would you do such a thing? This makes no sense. Uh, this is not a good investment at all. This is not a great strategy. It's not a good look for the game. People were even making the same jokes that I was making in the video. I said, what are they going to do? Release Twin Peak shares and Camp Icarus shares and Zykeon shares? And people were making the same joke on the forum. And I'm talking like four, five, six pages of forum posts. The funny thing is, then I released the video... And the exact same people, after I release the video, turn around and start wanting to rag on me and rag on the video and rag on everything I said. Which is hilarious because I'm looking at them ragging on me on like page 7 of the forum. And if I go back to page 4, 5, and 6, they were saying the exact same thing. The only difference is I released the video. So when I said it, all of a sudden now they wanted to rag on me, which I just thought was absolutely hilarious. But we got good news the other day. As of yesterday... Mindark has finally pulled the 475,000 unsold Triton shares off the market. Now, they did manage to sell about 25,000 shares. And if you bought them, I'm sorry. I, I truly don't know what to tell you. I would not have done it. If you're happy with your purchase, great. If you're not happy with your purchase, I don't know what to tell you. I tried, I tried to put my perspective out there, and if people listen to me, great. If they didn't, great. I just hope that people who got the shares are happy that they own the shares. 
because there were 475,000 shares that were still unsold. And that is an absolutely abysmal number. It is a horrible look for the game. It's a horrible look for Mindark. And I think Mindark did a brilliant thing the other day by finally saying, you know what, we're going to pull these 475,000 shares off the market. At some future date, we may offer them again, but for right now, we're pulling them. So as of right now, those 475,000 shares have been pulled off the market. However, if you bought Triton Industry shares, they will soon become tradable on the Entropy Exchange. Only the shares that people already bought. There will not be any of those other IPO shares available. And I think that is a smart move for Mindark. I think that is a great way to correct what was a horrible decision and a good way to deal with what was just a bad situation that they created. Now, that said, am I super, super, you know, positive on the outlook of what's going to happen with these Triton shares? No. What I think will probably happen is we'll see a new Treasure Island type scenario. They will start trading player to player, the ones that were bought up, those 25,000 shares players did buy. And they'll probably end up trading somewhere in the area of between 8.5 to 9.5 pet a share. People will eventually just start dumping them to liquidate them to get their liquidity back since the ROI just is not there and does not seem like it's going to be there. Now, that's a new prediction for 2024. I seem to have been right on my predictions for 2023. In fact, I was pretty spot on. So that's the one that I'm going to start 2024 off with. And short of some major change to Naval Station Triton, I don't see how anything else could be possible. But maybe Mindark has plans they simply have not told us about yet. We don't know. The future will tell. Now, that being said, we got other news as well. Apparently, we're getting a user interface update. Now, this user interface update comes out about a week, week and a half from now. And is it a big change to the game? Not necessarily. But I think this user interface update will keep the game fresh. It might make the game a little bit easier to play or a little bit more pleasant on the eyes. And in addition, this might be a big step in the right direction toward getting us moved toward the Unreal launch with the Unreal Engine. And if it helps move us toward Unreal, I'm all about it. I would like to see more updates about what's going on with the development for Unreal, but the user interface update is a good place to start, so I'm really excited about that. Now, that being said, as far as I'm aware, there's not any other like super pertinent news starting 2024 off. Again, I haven't even had time to do research at this point, but I do already have quite a few goals for 2024. So personally, those goals are a couple of things. In-game, I've got some mission chains that I'm absolutely determined to finish, both on Calypso and on Cyrene. I've got a couple of epic chains I'm working on. I want to reach level 100 looter professions across the board. And I want to get the BP-70 tiered as quickly as I possibly can, as cost-effectively as I possibly can. So those are the main things I'm going to be working on in-game. Outside of the game, I'm going to be really trying to do a better job with the content creation, the video series, giving you guys the best information I can. And obviously, I've got this issue of, am I going to end up doing a Patreon, a paywall, some other, I don't know how we're going to do that. But essentially, there's a lot of content I would like to put out there that hardcore, very serious players will find exceedingly valuable, but I can't just release it to the masses for free. And like I said, I don't yet know how I'm going to deal with that situation, but whenever I figure that out, I will let you guys know. So to wrap it up for today, I'm really, really excited about 2024. I think that it's going to be even better than last year. I'm really excited to see all the things that Mindark has planned for this year. I'm really happy about some of the things that they've done to make the game better and to correct recent mistakes. I think pulling Triton shares off the market was a brilliant move. I don't think they ever should have been offered in the first place. So 2024 is lining up to be the best year for Entropia Universe. So if you think you've missed the boat, we just celebrated the 20th anniversary, it's too late, you're absolutely incorrect. If you haven't started, get started now. Not only is, th you, not, only is it not too late, this is probably the best time ever to be playing in Trophy Universe. So don't wait. If you're on the fence, download the game and get started because this game is probably only going to continue to get better. I don't see it slowing down. I see things just continuing to get better by leaps and bounds. So let me know in the comments, how's 2024 shaped up for you guys so far? Is there anything exciting about 2024 you're really looking forward to? What goals do you guys have for 2024? 
Did you complete any major goals in 2023? Where are you hoping to be by the end of 2024? Let me know all that in the comments below. I am going to try and get as much rest as I can because I want to get as much content out for you guys as I can. Not only the stuff I've already recorded, but stuff that I have yet to record. And I want to make these video series something that will be very, very valuable for players, not only currently, but for years to come. And I think that's the way it's starting to shape up. So I'm very, very excited all around. So guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. Do me a favor. You guys already know. That's right. Hit that bell icon, subscribe to the channel, and hit the like button. When you do those three things, that will put us in front of more people. That will get us on the right side of the YouTube algorithm. They will start showing our videos to people who are into MMOs, real cash economy games, stuff like that. And we are still getting emails every single week from people who say, hey, that's exactly what happened. I never heard of Entropia until one of your videos popped up. Start watching the video, start watching the channel. Now this is my hobby. Now this is my passion. And I really want to thank all your viewers who helped get that video in front of me. You guys deserve the credit for that. I make the content, but you guys are making the impact. And that is one of the things that is making this the best year ever for Entropy Universe. So guys, please keep it up. I will try and get more content out for you guys as quickly as I can. Until next time, sip, sip, smack, smack. Y'all know the rest. Take care, Stevies.